Hello, hello YouTube, and how is everyone doing today? Um, this is actually my second playthrough of this game. Um, my first recording got messed up and I was really disappointed because I really wanted to share this game with you guys because I think it's a really, really good horror game. Very short, um, but multiple, multiple different endings. The choices you make in this game have consequences and lead to different endings and outcomes. Um, Best like voice acting I've heard in an indie game in a long time. Great cutscenes, great tension. The music is on point, like so good. And I really wanted to share this game with you, so I'm back doing another recording so that you guys can enjoy this game alongside me. So today we're playing the Director's Disorder pilot episode, which is like I said, a short horror game from Just Source Studio. Um, I'm definitely keen to check out some of their other games when I get the chance because this one was really promising. And they have an upcoming game called Pact of Joy, which I'll be checking out. Um, trigger warning, this game does contain content that may not be appropriate for all ages or for viewing at work. General mature content, strong language, self-harm, gore and violence against animals. Uh, I will try to flag up moments where you should maybe look away if you're triggered by those sort of things. But yeah, just take that into consideration. If you're not, if those things are a trigger for you, maybe go and watch one of my other videos. I always label things um, with trigger warnings in the description and before the video starts, so that people know. Um, because I don't want to upset anybody. Um, so with that said, we're just going to jump right into a new game. Night what? It was nice of Nana to let me stay at her place for a few days, so I can have some time alone to think just need to wait for things to cool down so I can go home again. Oh, this place looks cozy. Cozy little cabin. In the middle of nowhere. Go inside the house. Donna must have locked the door when she left. I wonder if she left me a note somewhere. Oh, look. There's a note. <laughs> How can I ever forget? That was the summer mom was traveling for work, so I had to stay here. The key should be in the shed then. I hope you had a safe drive from California, honey. Do you remember where you broke your wrist while you stayed with us all those years ago? I left the key there. P.S. Thanks for watching Ace for me. Love you. Pick up the lighter. Press V. Get the spare house key from the shed. This looks like a bed. That must have been the wind. No, it was just the wind. Aha. Uh -huh. Doesn't really seem very secure, but okay. I mean, doesn't seem like there's anybody around for miles, so probably fine. Also, Anna really be locking her door, but leaving the window wide open? It doesn't seem... Ace. Hey, buddy. Like very good home security, but uh, sure. Boy, it's a good to see you. Got a little doggy friend. Hello, she buddy. That chore list she mentioned. Should be on the table, I think. Our little buddy. Shut this door so you don't go running off. Let's turn that off for now. Why is there a creepy picture of an eye on the floor? That's obviously our nana. Nice, nice little bathroom here. Very old fashioned y, but uh, that was quaint. I like it. Little kitchen. Be our bedroom. What is this? Salmon? Oh, I wish she'd get rid of this thing. Some kind of. Tr oh, I can light the candles. Or some of the candles. Uh, right, pick up the list. Cole, honey, make sure you finish everything on this list before you go to sleep. I know you must be tired after the drive, but you mustn't forget these chores. Ace needs to be fed, very important. His food is on the counter in the kitchen, so all you need to do is put some in his bowl and set it on the floor. Bring some of the firewood from the shed to the fireplace inside the house. It's been getting really cold at night, and I don't want you to freeze, sweetie. Your mother's candle needs to be lit. I'm sure it would make her happy to see you caring for her even after all this time. 
But most importantly, eat. I left some of your favourite food on the table. You must be hungry. So eat up, Nana. No food on the table. Uh. Ah, dog food? Holy physics. Gravity? That's, oh. I did that without even trying. Um. Can't trick me, I heard that. Drop it. Drop it. Check on mom's memorial behind the house. I think the candles might need to be removed. Oh, you good boy. Um, oh, food. Here's our food. A nice, a nice bowl of ramen. Oh, this cooking can't be beat. Um, now we gotta go outside again. Bring firewood inside. Is that a fucking katana? No. I thought that was a katana. I was like, why has Nana got a katana just lying next to the... Casually lying next to the fireplace, but... I think it's one of those, um, what do they call them? Poker? Fire? I miss you every oh. day, Mom. That was easy. And now, firewood would be in the shed, I guess? Oh, you got there quick. I shut that window. Guess he finished his, uh... His nom noms, and now he's ready for bed. A bit like me. Uh, ah, firewood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just the wind, you know. Oh my god, I just kicked that out of existence. I'd like to pick it up, thank you. Can I throw it through the window? I can. There's a genius play by me. I'll pick it back up and put it over here. Ah. And keys up and go to bed. I'm just gonna leave all the lights on. Did we shut all the windows? I feel like that. But no, we did not shut the this one. That is not safe. Don't go to sleep with that window open. Are you insane? That is definitely how you end up murdered. Now we're gonna go. Go to sleep with our little buddy here. Um, did you see what I saw in the window there? 10:15 p.m. There was definitely somebody looking in the window as we went to sleep. Where's the dog gone? Ace. E. They're not there now. Why are all the lights? Oh my god! You scared me. Stop it! Investigate. Okay. Would you stop, please? Oh, look, a flashlight. How convenient. Um. The hey? knife? The knife? Oh, shit. I've got a bad feeling about this. The fuck was that? Just driving a truck? Okay. Don't worry, doggy. He's happy now. Wait, your Nana's knife was... Was that on the table when we arrived? Did somebody come in and Shit, take it? A duffel bag. Can't leave that out in the rain. I don't remember if it was there or not. I'd have to watch it back. Bring the duffel bag into your room. I don't see a duffel bag. I'll look at this, though. Didn't I leave it here? Weird. Guess I'll check the shit. It's a nice picture. Wish I could draw that well. I'm very good at drawing uh, stick figures. More of these. We're gonna need them for anything, but I'm gonna take them. I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Okay. Drop it. What? Who said that? You drop it. I'm not dropping it. Another one of those things. Ace is back in bed. I don't blame him. I should take a nice long hot bath before the rain is the death of me. Alright, I'm gonna take a bath. I don't remember shutting that door, but 
armor. You can light the candle. Should probably put the flashlight away. Probably not a good idea to take a bath with the flashlight. That seems like a bad idea. Oh Ace. no. Fuck. Must have left the door open. We definitely didn't leave the door open. I know that much. We did not leave the door open. We have been very careful not to leave the door open. There he is. I found him. Oh, buddy. Little shit. Got me worried. Don't go running off like that. Come on, buddy. Go home. What a good boy. Go to bed. We're well, having a good night's sleep here, aren't we, really? Waking up, like, every hour, pretty much. No one outside our window this time, that's good. 12.07 a.m. Oh, the dog's gone again. Hey, buddy. A uh, package. Huh. I did not know Amazon delivered this late at night. Wind's picking up. I should move Nara's wash bins to the shed. Wow. Look at these graphics. Outbreak could learn a thing or two from this game, that's for sure. These storm graphics are something else. Um, there was some, yeah, here. Can I pick that up? Yeah, I can. And then with the power of my mind, I can carry it to the shed. Wow, the sound effects on this storm as well are phenomenal. I really feel like I'm in the middle of a storm right now. Just a dead bird, don't worry about it. Storms make animals do crazy things. I'm sure it's totally fine. And we've got rain like on the screen to make it really feel like immersive. That's so cool. I'm very immersed right now. Put this one and we need one more. Uh, one more. Oh, here it is. Don't know why we couldn't carry all three. Maximum efficiency, but sure. Horror games are not about efficiency, remember? Right, investigate the package. It probably would have been the first thing I did, to be fair, but... This guy has other priorities, and I respect that. Huh. Was this open before? No, it was not. Turn on. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello, Cole. How was the drive here? I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable for you. It has been a few years since you visited your old family home, hasn't it? Who is this? The director of your next film. Cole, I've got a role for you to fill, and I know you're hankering for some work. I'm not desperate enough to work with someone pulling some shady shit like this. If you want to work together, drop the Psycho Stalker Act and contact my agent. Goodbye. I wouldn't be so fast to turn me down, Cole. Hear me out at least. <laughs> no. Now leave me the hell alone, or I'm going to call the police. Go to bed. Before I close the windows. Safety first. Also, our keys are gone. That doesn't seem like a good thing. Ace is already in bed. Work with him. One oh two AM.
Um, nice. Someone was in our room sleeping because that definitely wasn't there. Can't pick these up. No. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder? We did. I noticed that they weren't there earlier. You're not very observant, my friend. <laughs> Smiley faces everywhere, huh? Ace? Contact director. What the hell did you do with my dog? Now, now, don't get saucy. Little Ace isn't dead yet. It's okay. Where is he? I've got him right here with me, and if you want to see him again, you'll play along. Now, I was generous enough to do this out of the kindness of my heart, but it looks like you need some extra motivation. Follow my instructions, and you'll get Widow Ace back. Fuck you. <sighs> what do you need me to do? Please. Why, Cole? That depends on you holding your end of the bargain. Oh, and obviously don't try to contact the police. You wouldn't want to see me upset, would you? Now, let's get to work, shall we? Okay. I'm not going to contact the police. Because I feel like it's going to kill the dog. And I'm going to do everything in my power to protect the dog. So we're going to do what the crazy psycho killer says to do. Right? All we got to do is vandalize a tree. It's not that difficult. Pick some stuff up. Go over here. The tree. Vandalize. Yeah. It's just paint. It'll wash off. Just painting a bit of rubbish. You can fix that after. It's done. Now give me back my dog. Whoa, whoa, don't be so hasty. I haven't gathered nearly enough. Where is his camera? We still have work to do. That wasn't the deal. Now where's Ace? Oh, it's that. Thing? What's next? That's the spirit. Now, I want you to grab that duffel bag you brought home with you. I know what's in the duffel bag, Cole. All the money you stole from your charity. And you thought to bring it here with you? Not smart, Cole. Not smart at all. So one thing we do learn in this game is that our character is a bit of a douche. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? It's not like I could take it to the bank. Cole, listen, I'm not here to question your life choices. That's for your fans and the police. What you're going to do is get rid of the evidence. Burn every last dollar in that bag. I was trying to see where his camera is. Oh, it's there. Sneaky. All right, grab the duffel bag. Oh, that was something I can interact with his candle. Uh, burn the money, burn the money. All that work down the fucking drain. Hardly call it work when you stole it from a charity. I burned it all. I don't know how this is gonna help me though. It won't, Nimrod. But it does make for good footage. You'll be viewed as this compassionate, regretful man seeking to make amends for his past crimes. Probably. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not evil. It's better not end 
end up with me in a prison cell. All right, Cole. Next scene. Do you remember when you were filming your last movie? Your stunt double had an accident on set because you were too hungover to act. Now, I would have liked to have had you recreate that accident, but we don't have time or resources for it. So instead, I'm going to have you take a knife and cut off your own finger. Simple enough, right? Uh... What? No! That accident was his fault, not mine. He was supposed to be a fucking professional. Blah, blah, blah. I'm Cole Westwood. I'm too hungover to do my job. You want to see your dog again, Cole? Do the scene. If not, well then who's to say what'll happen next? <sighs> well, I will now give you a trigger warning. We're about to cut one of our fingers off. That's what the knife was for. I see. Cut finger off. Okay, look away if you are triggered by fuck. blood oh, and so far. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, gosh! It's done, you fucking psychopath! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, Cole, you crazy motherfucker, you good shit! That is going to be a killer movie when we're done! Ooh, it's going to be a worse for the both of us! Fat stacks of cash in my head! Oh, I can't wait! We've only got two scenes left now, two! Two scenes! What did I do to deserve this? and set up package left on your truck back inside your room. Okie dokie. There. It's all ready. Good. Now, here's the fun part. You're going to sit in front of that camera and confess all of the horrible things you've done. I haven't done anything wrong, damn it. Shut up. Begin confessing. Unfair. Uh, let's see. I hadn't visited my mom in years. Before she died, I mean. She kept inviting me up for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but there's always something else. I wonder why she didn't just come and visit me. I mean, why should I have to be the one who has to drive six and a half hours upstate just to see her? I had more important things to do. Things that were actually worth my time. She should have tried harder, not me. I stole money for my charity. Tens of thousands of dollars. The money was supposed to go to those kids and I just took it from them. The music goes hard here. But, but I needed it more. I did. The bank was going to repossess my cars. I, I couldn't let that happen. Acting doesn't pay what he used to. And yeah, I cheated on her. My wife. Ever since our son was born, she's just been horrible. Inside and out. Always needing things and bitching about this or that. So when her sister came on to me, huh, could you blame me? I was just trading him for the younger model. That's all. She'll get over it. She always does. Well, I think she's going to get over that. Yeah. Yeah, I happened to be drunk on set that day. So what? Is it my fault that dumbass had to take my place for stunt? My fault he didn't stand on the right fucking spot and lost his arm? Oh well. He should have been more careful. Some professional he was. He didn't deserve that payout the company gave him for his troubles either. Hell, if anything, it should have gone to me for making us waste a day of filming. There. Done. Happy now? What? 
That's it. All of my confessions. There's nothing else to say. Don't lie to me, Cole. I know, I know what happened on that road. Had a few too many drinks, did you? Thought even with all those martinis, I could still drive home. You really thought you'd be fine? You couldn't. That's impossible. There was no one else there. Confess, Cole. Let me take those weights off your shoulders. I... I killed a man. That's it. Keep going. I was on my way home from a party. I'd been drinking all night. And he just... He came out of nowhere. I stopped and checked on him, but he, he wasn't breathing. So I, I got back in my car and I left. I didn't want to leave him, I swear, I, but I couldn't help him. He was in pieces, scattered across the fucking road. So I went home. And, and the next day, I called my Nana and I asked if I could stay at her place for a while. Shut up. Why does it still say confess on it? I don't know. It doesn't actually... As much as I've enjoyed our time together today, Cole, all good things must come to an end. No, Nana. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? You'll let me go? All right, let's get this over with. Always with the rush, Cole. Slow down. Smell the roses, eh? Just tell me what it is you want, so I can be done with you and with all of this. Fine, jeez. Don't get your panties in a twist. Last scene is a simple, easy one. Burn down your grandmother's cabin. What? What? Come on, Cole. Don't play dumb. I know you heard me. You're going to burn down your Nana's house, burn it to the ground, and walk away from the life you knew. Why? She doesn't deserve to be homeless. Leave her out of this. Cole, Cole, Cole. You lied. Cheated. Stolen. And even killed your way through life. And you thought it wouldn't come back to bite you? What? That was me, not her. Punish me. Nah, you're going to get what's coming to you one way or another. But I don't think that's enough. This bad energy you got going on, it's gotta go somewhere, you know? Burn it down, Cole. Haven't you walked away from enough? Burn a house down with firewood. Burn house down? Burn the house down. We've got to just save the doggy. It's burning. It's all burning. It's fine. Down. It's raining. The rain will stop it. Right? That's how rain done. works. Fire works. Yay! Hey, at least you're okay, buddy. Come on. Let's go home. It's time for me to atone for everything I've done. Cole Westwood returned to his California home and turned himself into the police. After a short trial with full confession from the defendant, Cole was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. His victims were able to find peace in the knowledge that justice had been served. Cole himself came to terms with the crimes he had committed and devoted his life to making the world a better place after he was released from prison. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family's cabin began circulating the internet. Eventually, any and all who knew of the film came to call it. The Director's Disorder pilot episode. Dun dun dun! Name of the game, y'all! Thanks for trying out our game. The Director's Disorder is an attempt by us to do something outside of our comfort zone. We're going to make more attempts like this in between our buffer related releases, so do let us know your thoughts. Was it a good attempt? Is this a series we should continue? Let us know on any of our socials. We'd appreciate all feedback and criticism. Just Source Studio. 
like I said at the start, I think this game is great. It's really good. Um, sound design, sound design is brilliant. The music is phenomenal at like building up the tension in those sort of final scenes, um, keeping the sort of the the player on edge and feeling sort of really tense. Um, it's a little bit slow to start, I would say, um, but once it gets going, it really ramps up super quick. Um, and the voice acting was phenomenal. Sound effects were really good. Graphics amazing. Yeah, I, I really hope they do more like this. Maybe continue this series, make it into a series. Because um, I would love to see more of this. I thought it was really good. What we're going to do now is go back to the main menu and make some different decisions. Um, for those different endings. Um, so we do Night Select. If we go from... one o two am Is that when we get the first... Inter yeah, that's when we get the first interaction with the... Um, yes. director. So we can try some different things here because we have choices in this game, right? Hey, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder? Ace? What the hell did you do with my dog? So we'll skip all this. Where is he? I've got him. <sighs> what do you need me to do? Fine. Just why call? So can we phone the police? We can. Or nine one one. Nine one one. How can I help you? There's a, there's a psycho outside my house. He he kidnapped my dog and now he's threatening me. Sir, please remain calm. Way. Please barricade yourself instead of. Oh. Damn it! Cole! Oh. You have to go and fuck things up for me. And the whole thing planned out, script written. Now oh, it's all worthless trash. Please. <laughs> Don't. It's too late for that, Cole. I'll have to find another lead actor for my film. Let's see if you can at least die right. The police arrive and find Cole Westwood dead in his grandmother's cabin. His murderer was long gone, as was the family dog Ace. Evidence was found in Cole's truck linking him to a hit and run in California days before. The investigation into his murder soon fizzled out and his killer was never identified. His victims were only left with questions regarding his crimes and never found peace. Okay, so that's an ending. Not a great one, admittedly, but then I don't really think there is a great ending in this game, to be fair. It doesn't seem like any outcome is good. When you're playing a kind of a douchey guy. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? So now, we're not gonna call, call the police. Ace? What the hell did you do with my dog? Nah. Where is. I've got <sighs> Skip all of this. Nah. Fine. We're not gonna, we're not gonna call the police. Can we leave? We can't leave in the truck. Can we just run away, like, down here? I don't even know what's down here. Hey, there's the truck! The beep- No, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that scared me. Well, that would explain the uh, truck call we heard earlier. And that's another ending, I guess. That's two quick endings. Uh, okay, so what if we Wait, where's my keys? do some of the, we do some of them, but not all of the tasks he wants us to do. What the hell did you do with my dog? Where so we could... Is Say yes to like the simple things. 
So like vandalize mom's tree. We could do that because it's not like a big deal really. We can we can clean it up after. It's not like you're chopping it down and it's permanent. This would be fine. Can we vandalize the tree? I'm so sorry, mom. Okay. It's done. That wasn't the deal. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? Now we'll burn the money, because that's not really... I mean, it's a big deal, but... He shouldn't have got it anyway. It's not his money. I mean, burning it seems a little extreme. Better just give it to charity, but... Give it back to charity, I should say. But... Hardly work. You stole it. I burned it all. It's better not end up with me. Now we have to cut off our finger? What? No! We could do that, it's just one finger. So let's cut our finger off. Because the dog is still alive, right? So. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, gosh! Okay. What did I do to deserve this? Now he's going to want us to confess to our sins. So I think maybe we say no to that. So I think we go and take like the we take we take the package, set it up in our room, and then we go. Hell no, we're not doing that because Cole seems like the kind of guy who wouldn't want to do this anyway. So I haven't done anything wrong. Fine. So we go confess. No. I have nothing to confess to. I haven't done anything wrong. That's bullshit, Cole. We both know it. Everything you've done, I know it all. From abandoning your mother to cheating on your wife, even the incident with your car this week. There is nothing you can hide from me. I could lay it all bare for you on the camera. But it doesn't mean anything unless it comes from Oh, and Cole. What? His name was Paul. Oh. How did he know that? Did he know? As much as I've enjoyed our time together today, Cole, all good things must come to an end. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? He'll let me go? All right, let's get this over with. So now he's going to ask oh, us to burn down. Just tell me what it is you want. Fine. Burn down. What? So now we're going to oh. say no. Why? She doesn't... Oh. But that was me, not her. Nah. So burn house down. Hell no. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck your movie, and fuck you. I'm out of here. Damn it! Cole, I was going to make the perfect finale. I've got enough film to make two, but you really dropped the ball on... Shut up. I'm done with this. Do whatever the hell you want to me, but I'm done. Finish your fucking movie on your own. Okay, we're not dead. <gasps> Ace! Of course this dumb still alive. I knew he was full of shit. Come on, Ace. Let's run. Okay. Finish it by self. Huh. Can do, Cole. Can oh. do. Who's that? His wife? An elderly woman was stabbed to death upon returning to her home days later. Police sought to bring her grandson, Cole Westwood, in for questioning regarding the murder and for a hit and run in California the week before. Cole remained on the run for four months before being arrested three states over. He was sentenced to life in prison. While his victims found peace in his sentencing, Cole's own family was shattered under the weight of his crimes and the murder of his grandmother. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family's cabin began circulating the internet. Though the movie appeared to be incomplete and lacked a satisfying conclusion, it quickly gained a cult following. 
So he was convict, arrested, kind of convicted for his grandmother's murder as well as the hit and run. Damn. I mean, the hit and run justified completely, but he didn't kill his grandmother. Okay, so what about if we say no to everything? This game's so cool because it has so many different ways the story goes depending on the choices that you make. It's so many different choices you can make. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder? Ace? What right, the hell so... Did you do with my dog? Where can you go through this again? He's going to ask us to vandalize our mother's tree. So we're going to go and pick up the stuff, go to the tree, they vandalize and then say, nah, never mind, I'm not doing it. There's no way I'm doing that. I love my mom and I'm not going to ruin her memory. Okay. That's the spirit. Now. now the duffel the bag. So we're going to grab it, but then say nah. Nah. I'm not going to burn that money. Do you have an idea how hard it was to convince those idiots to give up their money for my charity? There's years of work in that bag. I don't give a damn about your film. This is my money. Mine. I'm not going to let anyone take that away from me. Cool. If you keep ignoring my orders, you're going to force me to kill the dog. And he's been such a good boy. You might even piss me off that I kill you, too. Do you want that? Do you? No, just... Uh, just please, give me another chance, okay? Okay. Now he's going to ask no, us to cut off our finger. And we're going to say, are you insane? No. Fuck no, I'm not cutting off <laughs> my finger. Go to hell. Okay, look away now if animal death is upsetting to you or triggers you. There is going to be, that scene is inevitable now, unfortunately. I apologize in advance. Okay. I left you a present. Oh yeah, it's this bit now. So we're going to set the thingy up, the camera. But we'll say we're not doing it. There. I haven't done anything wrong. Sure. Fine. Confess? No. I have nothing to confess to. I haven't done anything wrong. It's debatable. That's bullshit, Cole. We both know it. Everything you've done, I know it all. From abandoning your mother to cheating on your wife, even the incident with your car this week. There is nothing you can hide from. I could lay it all bare for you on the camera, but it doesn't mean anything unless it comes from you. Oh, and Cole. What? His name was Paul. How does he know all of this about us? <laughs> no. Just, uh. just tell me what's next already. So, what's next, Cole? You've ignored me time after time, and you expect me to still have work for you? Mm. Shed and leave. 
We can't just leave. You're going to let me go? Just like that? Cole, you better hurry up before I change my mind. Oh, well, I don't need to turn twice. I'm out of here. Music. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you piece. Alright, that's what happens if you say no to everything. You already had to test his patience, I guess, huh? Um, what about if we We explored everything? So so we said no to everything. And he killed the dog and then us. We said yes to the first three tasks and no to the last two. And he killed our grandmother. We said yes to all of the tasks. And we left with the dog. We called the police. And we got killed. We... Uh, is that it? So we could try... Did we try doing everything except for burning the house down? I don't think we did. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Because we... Didn't I put them in the holder? We did an all yes run, an all no run. And then we said yes to the first three and no to the last two. But what if we said yes to the first four and no to the last one? Ace? What the hell did you do with Let's try Where that. Is Fine. So let's go and vandalize Mum's tree. Be peasy. Yes, so let's do it. I'm so sorry, Mom. The only problem I have with games that have multiple endings is that I get distracted and I get confused over which endings I've got. It's done. Right, that now he's gonna ask it. us to burn the duffel bag of cash, so we can do that. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? We can do that, let's go. Grab the duffel bag. Wink. Throw it in the fire, but we don't need it. All that work down the fucking drain. More like all those ill-gotten gains. You're sort of douche. I burned it all. Right now he's gonna ask us to cut off our finger. I think. What? Yeah. No. Cut one of your fingers off. At least we get to choose which one, I suppose. Which one would you guys cut off if you had to? I probably. My middle one, maybe? Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, gosh. It's done, you fucking psychopath. Holy what did I do? Right. Do now we're going to do the confession. Right, so we grab that, take it to our room. Set it up. And then we there. contact him and he says, confess to your sins. Which we will. Fuck. So we say, confess, yes. Uh, I mean, why should I? I'll just skip through all of but this because we've seen yeah. this before. So when her sister came on to yeah. You should have been more careful. There. Done. What? That's now he's going to be like, not happy about that because there's another sin you don't confess. Really home from a I don't then we confess to that one. Shut up. Uh, now he's going to ask us to burn down the house. As much as I'm yeah. So this is it? All right. Just tell me what it is you want. What? Come on. Why? But that was me. No. So now we go. Burn the house down? No. Fuck you. Fuck 
this. Fuck your movie and fuck you. I'm out of here. Damn it. Oh, I was going to make the perfect finale. I've got enough film to make too, but you really dropped the ball on... Shut up. I'm done with this. Do whatever the hell you want to me, but I'm done. Finish your fucking movie on your own. I can just go, or... Hey. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh. Finish it by self. Okay. Can do, so this leads to the grandmother yes. again. But the dog lived. An elderly woman was stabbed to death upon returning to her home days later. Police sought to bring her grandson in for questioning regarding the murder and for a hit and run in California the week before. Their search turned up nothing, however, and the disgraced actor was never found. Rumors say that Cole managed to escape the country and is now living in some foreign land, never to return to his home. Cole's victims never found peace or justice, and he never answered for his crime. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family's cabin began circulating the internet. Though the movie appeared to be incomplete and lacked a satisfying conclusion, it quickly gained a cult following. Okay, so in that one, you, your grandmother still dies, but at least you and the dog survived, I guess. <laughs> it's not really a, a positive there. So what have we done? We've called the police and got killed for it. We've run away from the property. And got killed for it. We did an all yes run, which saved our life and the dogs and Nana's. But it burnt her house to the ground, so, you know. Um, we've done an all no run, which led to our death and the dog's death. We said yes to all four tasks and no to the last one, and we and the dog survived. We said yes to the first three tasks and no to the last two, um, which led to the dog dying, I think. There is one other thing I think I want to try. Um, but it's right from the start of the game. Because I noticed it when we it nice started this playthrough. Place for a few days. And I'm wondering if it leads to another Just kind of ending. To cool down so I can go home again. Yeah, you leave. I'm not staying in some shitty old cabin. I'm out of here. Mm. Wait, you really just left? Come on, there's a whole movie to be made here, man. Quit screwing around. <laughs> okay, so that is another kind of ending. What if we... Okay, what if we go back to 102am? I love the fact that there's a option to skip to certain timestamps, by the way. Such a nice inclusion when there's multiple endings. What if we say no to the first three things? And then the yes. I think that will lead to the dog dying, maybe not us, which I'm not thrilled about because I want to save the dog and not this douche canoe, but it might be another ending. So we're going to say no, we're not going to vandalize the tree. Can we just run up to the tree? Do we need to have everything at the table or can we just run up here and go never mind? No, we have to pick everything up first. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. That acts as the trigger, clearly, to... Yeah, so vandalize. No way, I have your mind. There's no way I'm doing that. I love my mom, and I'm not going to ruin her memory. I was yeah, it says the same thing there. Yes, I, I That's the spirit. Now. now the what duffel the bag. So we're going to pick the duffel bag up, but we're not going to throw it in the fire. Yoink. Can I pick it up, please? Thank you. <laughs> no. 
I'm not gonna burn that money. Do you have an idea? I don't uh, man, he's pissed off. No, just now he's gonna want us to cut our finger off. What? And we're no. gonna say no way. You're insane. Fuck no! I'm not <laughs> cutting off my finger. Go to hell. Best part. Best voice acting part in the game. Look away now if animal death triggers you, because that's, this was inevitable from our choices. But I wanted to see how this ending panned out. No, Ace! Fuck! I'll fucking kill you! I doubt that, Cole. You're fighting for your life now. If you continue to ignore me, you'll meet the same fate as your precious pup. So now. We go to save our own skin. Uh, yeah, pick this up, take it into our house, set it up, and we will confess because we don't want to end up like the dog. There. I haven't done anything wrong. Fine. Fuck. Confess? Yes, we will confess. Because we are kind uh, of a douche. I mean, why should I die? But I needed it. And yeah. It's when her sister came on to me. Yeah. He should have been more careful. There. Done. He's not happy because we didn't. That's it. You couldn't. I do wonder if he, if the director is somehow related to the guy who got hit by our character. And how does he know all of this? Like, about us? Like, how does he know we cheated on our wife and stuff? Right, now he's going to ask us to burn down the house. So this is it. So we say, uh, yeah, fine, we'll burn down her house. What? what? Come on. Why? She but that was me. Burn the house down. Yes. It's burning. It's all burning down. What have I done? Ace. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I should have listened to that fucking psycho. Goodbye, buddy. <sighs> Time for me to turn myself in. Cole Westwood returned to his California home and turned himself into the police. After a short trial with full confessionals from the defendant, Cole was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. His victims were able to find peace with the knowledge that justice had been served. Cole himself came to terms with the crimes he committed and devoted his life to making the world a better place after he was released from prison. Soon after, a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at the Westwood family's cabin and began circulating the internet. Eventually, any and all who knew of the film came to call it. Okay. I think we've explored every possible... Option, we've done an all no run, we've done an all yes run, we've done a multitude of different answers and consequences. Music? Music's uh, different on this end credit scene. Really good music. I hope it's not copyright. Copyrighted. I don't want to get copyright striked. But anyway. Um, yeah. I think we've explored every possible ending we could. Um, every There's no good ending in this game, is there, really? Because at the end of the day, I think the best ending you can hope for in this game is that you save the dog and yourself. Um, and we did that. Um, but yeah really just a really good game like such a short experience it was a really good game um and i'm really really excited to check out some of the other games and see what else they've got cooking because i think this dev studio shows a lot of promise and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this i hope you enjoyed playing along with me and uh i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye